What's up guys, this is going to be part one of the sound system build for my Tacoma. I'll be building and installing the subwoofer box on this truck. Before we start, I just want to let you guys know I am no expert in this field. I'm simply just a DIYer and I thought it might be cool to share this experience with you. So with that being said, let's get started. Before I started this project, I put some sound editing on the back wall and the floor to reduce the chances of any unwanted rattling. Here I took some measurements to get an idea of what I need to cut my pieces to. Now I'm measuring from the end to the seat bracket. That way I can determine where to notch my board. Here's what I used to get an idea of what my measurements needed to be. I used a bunch of scrap wood. Now that I got most of these pieces chopped up, I'm gonna go ahead and start putting it together. All right guys, so far it's looking pretty good. We got the base and we got the back side of this all done and put together. Now all I need to do is cut more pieces of wood to kind of enclose this gap for the seat bracket. I also need to build a brace in the middle to give this box more structural support and get it all angled up so that way it becomes flush with uh, the angle right here. It is pretty dark so I can't cut any wood right now. So tomorrow I'm gonna start cutting wood. For you guys it'd be like one second. So be right back. All right, I went ahead and made these pieces off camera. We got this all complete, all glued up. We got this center brace right here with my very crappy cutout just for uh, uh, more airflow inside the box. I'm gonna put this in my truck right now just to see how Fitman goes. Hopefully it goes well. As you guys can see, Fitman is actually really, really good. There's actually plenty of space. There's way more than an inch of space for that subwoofer. So once it's all complete and put together, I will have to unbolt this seat to install it. And there still is plenty of room for me to reinstall this seat. Now I'm gonna start with 
figuring out where I want the placement of the subwoofer where it fits to the back side right here. All right, so far it's looking pretty damn good. There's enough space on this side and there's enough space on this side. This cardboard template that came off the box actually lines up pretty much perfectly with uh, this practice board I have. Uh, eventually I'm gonna transfer it over to the main board, but for now I'm gonna take the speaker out, tape this piece of cardboard to the board right here, cut out its hole. We're gonna put the speaker and double check it to make sure it fits. of truth that's actually really good exactly where i wanted it so now i'll be able to copy this onto the new board i'll go ahead and measure it from here to here and find the middle that's where i'll cut the subwoofer and i'll be able to copy that on this side so that way it's pretty much symmetrical So I just finished cutting out the holes for these subs and man, everything is coming together really, really well. This fitment is still good with the, the permanent board. So now I'm gonna go ahead and screw these in all the way around and then we'll work on the sides. So about a month has passed. I've been caught up with a lot of things, but I went ahead and finished screwing this in. Got this top piece on right here. I actually did drop the board here and put a nasty gash here. So I try to fill it up with as much uh, glue and uh, sawdust as I can to get it sealed up. It looks like it will seal up pretty all right. So now I'm gonna get a piece of board and put it right here and kind of trace along from the inside to get my side piece cut. After cutting out the sides, I use a sander to taper the edges 
so that way it slides in easier. Here I use a pencil to mark the area where there's some high spots so that way when I take it out I can sand it. So this is a really difficult part, but if it's not too bad, I did cut it in too far right here. So I'm gonna have to fill this up with as much uh, sawdust and glue as I can, just to get that sealed up. And I'll also seal it from the inside too. So we can make sure that we don't get any air leaks. Now for the other side. Alright, so now I got the sides all done. They're all glued and screwed to the box and they're looking pretty good. I went ahead and cut out the hole for my cup terminal and this side is also looking pretty good. I let the glue sit for a day and it's looking pretty nice. So all that's left now is to carpet it. For the corner, I use a razor blade to trim off the excess carpet and I did mess up right here but it's whatever since it's in the back.
All right, so this thing's fully carpeted now. It is definitely not perfect, as you can see. Uh, I did a really crappy job cutting out this side right here. This side, however, was a lot better, but still could be better. But good thing about this is that this is going to be in the back where nobody could see it. So pretty much if I were to take the seats down, all you'd see pretty much is from here up front. And of course, the speakers would be covering the rough cuts right here. So overall, it's not too bad considering that I'm not a professional at this. It is definitely not a terrible job. So now I'm gonna get the speakers out, start wiring them together and getting this cup terminal installed, get all the wiring set up and then it'll go in the truck. All right, so here I got the subs out. I have the Kicker L7Ts. These are the, the thin model, the, I guess, shallow subwoofer. So I picked this one because of course it was uh, 500 watts RMS. Also, it would fit perfectly in this box. So basically how I'm gonna wire it is, I've already got a wire on here right now. I have the two coils wired in series. So positive to negative right here. Same thing for this one, positive to negative. So this will give me a four ohm load on each subwoofer. And then I'm gonna wire this basically parallel to each subwoofer. So that'll bring it back to two ohm load. That'll go out to this wire right here and out to the amp. So here's what I'm talking about. Series for the two coils, then going from negative to negative on the other subwoofer, positive to positive on the other subwoofer. And then of course this subwoofer is also for the two coils wire in series. It goes out to here. And then as you can see, with my ohm meter on, it reads roughly around two ohms, which is perfect. Now it's time to mount these up, so I'll see you in a bit. and here's the final product looks pretty good to be honest with everything all together so now i'm gonna struggle and throw this in the truck all right let's see let's see if this fits this thing is a whole lot heavier with everything in it i don't know how much you guys are gonna be able to see this All right, it's officially in. So now, seats, boom. Seats are installed. Let's check out this fitment. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I am so stoked. This is actually turning out really, really good. It fits snug, like literally perfectly. You guys can see, man, this is actually turning out good. I'm not gonna include this in the video, but I'm probably gonna get the, the stock back panel and cut it to length about right here just to make it a little more neat back here. All right guys, that pretty much wraps it up for this video. The next video is gonna be a part two of this sound system build. Basically, I'm gonna be getting my amps and building an amp rack and attempting to fit everything all in this tiny spot. I actually, this, spot actually has like a cubby and a cover over it or whatever i actually took that out frees up a lot more room i could tuck more wires under here there's so much more to talk about it but you'll see in the next video so hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one